Hi, this is Reese from Crowd Serum, and this is the uh, sales module in the quote section. This one is an exciting one that we uh, like is the price list or the price books for our clients. Now, uh, the problem we have with a lot of the implementations we have with clients is that um, as uh, they grow and expand, they we find that they have about 20 or 30 different price books, or it goes up to, I've seen clients, 150 different price books. And variations of prices and they've got to spend a lot of time giving the price list to their clients so this section two sections to this one and one is the how we can do um, quotes on the price book section here and then how do you give that price book to that client and saying here's your price list because obviously um, if you've got all these wheeling dealing price lists and this person gets this discount for this product and then this discount for that product it's pretty tough to um, give those price books so this one covers all of this so this first part video will solve the first problem I was just send, sending a quote so the first problem we have a lot of times when we do a quote in this section is let's we choose a customer in here is that um We'll set view this one. Um, is that we'll look at the price books. You've got these all these variations of the price books. So we've got one 10% of all the prices. They've got then we then you've got scenarios where you're going to say to this client because they buy a lot of um, a particular thing, a brand of windows called Smith Windows. So these guys implement a window. They sell what they buy more Smith Windows and they've wheeled and deal saying we want 10 points off this particular type of window. So so what happens is that um, you can actually on the quote itself on just um, when you get a new client, you can just simply go sure no worries I'm going to um, just do this price list here of 10% of the Smith Windows. So when you actually click on the edit button here and add the quote itself, you can any Windows Smith Windows that you have is going to be 10 points off. Um, it will um, show up on the discount sell for that 10 points already off the existing price. So you can see here it's $198 here. Okay, so I'll better go to the actual price. So that's WW2600. So there it is. And so the recommended retail is 220 but this client's getting 10% off the, um, the item. So if you choose anything outside of that category, so another brand, um, he, he will get the, he will get the same price or same discount here so WS uh, price he'll get the same price which is $88.50 we'll search that and $88.50 so in this example here is that this person gets 10% of Smith Windows and so you can really quickly create some discounts on the fly from pre pre price books when people go wheel and deal over the phone and you go look I'll give you 10% of these products and then that you can you can add them so you can actually as you go through on the quote change the price book so uh, what it does do is that you don't um when you add the items into the um, quotes or invoices it's going to do the discounts and you can then switch to another price book with other discounts as well you gotta be careful with that but that gives you the person freedom to discount 15% of this group of products and 10% of that group of products with the pre built price books so you can just simply change the price book and go well 20% off fly screens no problem because you're a good client I'm now going to give you 20% off uh, fly screens because I'm going to do that and so you just then simply go through and add the uh, items to WS fly screens and you get a, a larger discount in that section so you can see it's easy to wheel and deal and change your price list in here as well so that's uh, one way to quickly segment your database so, uh, by the way in, in priceless so the priceless sections are in the sales section priceless and here's all the variations of prices that you can have 10 percent of all the prices you have to you know and then you can um, have different uh, plans on prices so for example we've got a criteria builder in here that you can deal with so you can say i want uh 10 percent all products but these particular products you're going to get um, um, you can have a greater discount or you can say no they can this rate so you can build your price rules in the section here your system and go through each of that price list as well and and change the variation so you can say this client gets this price and this and goes from there it does cover one go in this video but we do cover steps as well so you can say if you buy i uh, get 10 percent you uh every of every 10 and then go to 20 percent for every you know every uh from uh, 20 to 30 and so forth and so forth and steps so then uh, next thing we want to do is that you want to customize a price book for a particular customer so how we'll look for example i'm going to 
create one for create CRM here. So a price book for create CRM here is that I've gone through all these different rules. So if I buy um, anything contains a, um, a item code WW, so that's a good way. So you, if you've got your items in different brand names, you can just do criteria bills and say you get 70% off WWs. Walls, you get 84, um, you get 15% um, off, 30% uh, off the, uh, the WWs, and uh, with those screens, you get 25% off. So you can start building your particular um, um, rules in here. So if I look up um, Crowd Serum, I'm just going to go up to my search and search for Crowd Serum. Ah, oops, sorry, do it again. So I look down, I choose this organization. So what you do is easily create a price book. So what you can do in the, on a customer here, you go all the way down to the price book list. We've got price list in our system. Choose the one that relates. You can have multiple companies have price books, but you can also individualize your price book. And what that means is that um, when you do that, you get a price book on the customer. So what happens is that when you look at the customer and see the cool, beautiful history of um, creator and, and all about that customer, you can see it's got a price book, meaning it's got a special book for it to um, to look at. So that means that when I um, create a, a, a new quote and choose the customer, there you go, the price book comes straight away on that particular customer. So when I add the items, it's going to put that discount across in, into, into the quote straight away for the created price book, which is off customized for that. So, um, and so there's an, just a quick overview as well as when you do do a customized price book as well, you straight away have the ability in this price book section to start to um, build um, your price book because what starts happening is that you want to give them a report on the price book and I won't cover it fully in this video, but you can just start designing saying, well, I'm going to hide these things. You can still buy on your price book this, but I'm going to hide and I'm going to develop a report beautiful report for you um, that is custom for your particular needs because you as a customer buy certain products I'm going to give you a beautiful report of all your products that you buy regularly even though when you buy something outside of the scope where you you buy windows from me but there are uh, there's extinguishers that you can buy from me um, no problem but you don't when I give you a price book you I'm going to ignore those things and give you the things that you want to buy so it's easy for you to um, um, buy from me. So we'll cover that in another topic, but um, that's what you do. So the key thing for us in this particular video is that you can have unlimited price books because we've found um, if we can't beat them, we join them because we've found a lot of our clients are continually adding more price books and, and it becomes a very hard labor of our love trying to build to manage that stuff. So we've really made it easy to William Dell for each price book and any, everyone can see when they go to that customer they can see that price book and then email that person really quickly that price book with and that's going to save your company a lot of money and time because the sales reps love wheeling and dealing and um, getting the right price to get the right relationship and making that customer feel um, um, special when they buy certain products um, and that gives the sales reps that freedom of wheeling, dealing, and putting in a system and, and a structure for the admin people to actually um, make quotes on agreed uh, priceless. I hope that helped you. Um, um, we'll go to the next one, which is um, just sending a price report to a uh, price book to the customers. Hope you enjoy that video.